everybody, Joel Parker. Time for the Daily Hope. Today we find ourselves in Luke chapter 8. And it's a very familiar passage to many of us, but it's one that I think can also come alive today. And I just believe that God's Word is alive, it's living, it's active. Even these veggie tale type stories can really be transformative for our lives today. So let's dive in. So in this passage, my Bible titles this the parable of the sower. But I think another title might be the parable of the soil because Jesus here is giving four examples of different soils with four different outcomes. And the goal here is that the followers of Jesus, the ones who uh, we call ourselves the church, would be the people of the best soil. And the seed being spoken of is the gospel. It's the, the word of God. And those two things combined result in bearing fruit result in us having a noble and pure heart, the scripture says, result in uh, that we would be people who not only hear the word of God, but retain the word of God. And then lastly, it says that through persevering that we would produce a crop. And I'm no farmer, but I do know that the goal of planting anything is to produce a crop. It's to have fruits and vegetables and whatever, you name it, beautiful flowers. And that's God's intention with this. So the three other soils that Jesus speaks about in this passage don't produce a crop. They don't yield a harvest. Um, but there's one in particular that's kind of haunting me today. And it's the one where the seed gets planted among thorns and the thorns ultimately choke out that which God has planted. And Jesus explains it here. He says it's choking out and it's representative of three things. It's worries, riches and pleasures of life. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like Jesus has been reading my diary a little bit. And I think about everything that's happening in the world today and, and the worry that's consumed me recently. And I resonate with that. I think about riches. I mean, man, we live in a society and a culture that is so driven by the attainment of wealth and I can identify with that. And lastly, pleasures of life. I mean, I'm a seven on the Enneagram. I, I love having fun. Um, and so I look at these things and, um, and I realize that these are, Jesus' warning is ultimately are the things that are choking out my relationship with him. And ultimately will lead to death. If I become so worried, become so focused on attaining riches and so focused on having fun or the pleasures of life, I'm going to miss out on my relationship with him. And Jesus is saying, man, it's time to shed that stuff. In fact, in Hebrews 12, it says, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles or chokes out and run, be free. It says, fix your eyes on Jesus. So the invitation today is pretty simple, that you and I would be people of good soil. Now, we're all here. We're all part of the church. We're all tuned in to what God is doing. So we haven't died in the cracks of some rock somewhere we haven't been picked off by some bird but there is a threat of being choked out by the things of this world and the hebrews passage of shedding that stuff and fixing our eyes on jesus is such a simple thing and devoting ourselves to god's word is so imperative to spiritual health today and so i don't know what that looks like for you but for me today I need to get alone. I need to really set aside some adequate time and devote myself to God's word and to allowing it to take root in my life in order to produce something beneficial for the kingdom. And so let's be people of good soil. Um, hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless.